you know, these trying times, people don't want to talk, they just uh, keep away. Once they know uh, there is there isn't funds, so why do we want to bother ourselves? The best thing is just to keep quiet, stay away from the brethren. But staying away from the brethren is not the best, it's not the best solution. Uh, can you imagine? This is the house. Yes, darling. Uh, I know. Uh, yeah, welcome, darling. Thank you, thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. How was office today? Ah, uh, office today was perfect. Wow, you know what? I want a big contract today. So wow! Wow! Uh, and I'm so happy. Wow! wow. This is the house. I've been here a number of times, so it should not be a surprise. Uh, I want to give them a surprise visit. Did you call to let them know we are coming? Uh, not at all. This is a surprise. Oh, a surprise yeah. visit for them. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Do you last day? Yeah. Don't tell me that you don't fast again today. In readiness for the drama minister's anointing night, we are all being told to fast and pray to seek the face of the Lord in preparation to be able to receive from the Lord. We are all drama ministers, remember? <laughs> Fasting, eh? I've told you several times that my own fasting is always prayed late. You see, the Spirit will minister to me and say, Son, go on three days, go on seven days, or go on 21 days. It's not you or any other person that will tell me to fast. Really? You see? I'll be going out this evening with all my colleagues because we need to celebrate the contract we won earlier on today. So please, go and get me my food. Go and have this evening. Okay, if you don't join us in fasting and prayer, at least you stay back to be able to join the program. We need to be at that program together and it's this evening. You see, the problem is you don't appreciate the purpose of my going out tonight. Because if you do, you will offer to go with me. Mm -hmm. You see, there are still a lot of contracts in the making, and I'm not willing to miss out. So get me my food. You know? Darling, everything works together for those who know God. And besides, God is the one that blesses without hiding any sorrow. Look, woman. Go and get me my food, or else. Or else what? Uh -uh. Have you forgotten that you are the head of this family for Christ's sake? Mm -hmm. Yet you never acted like one. Not even for once. You never joined us in praise worship. Not to talk about fasting and prayer to see the face of the Lord. And come on Sunday. You will be the one to be rushing to the church and sit there the ministers of the day. When you look at the man of God, you respond. You never cease to amaze me. How dare you talk to me like that? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Eh? My I thank you because you have given us the grace to wait upon you tonight. Ah, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> Father, bless us. Almighty Jehovah, bless us. Let the program of today, oh my, oh my, oh my, let it be good ties into my family. Bless me. Bless my wife and bless my children. Everlasting Father, as we join the demand meeting tonight, Almighty God, visit us. Visit us. I said tonight, Father, visit us. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Pastor, Pastor Mrs. Uh, welcome, welcome to, to our house. Please. Come in, come in, please. Sit down, sit down. Uh, house, please sit down. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Brother Stephen. Uh, Sister Beth. Thank you, sir. Becky. Thank you, ma'am. It is well with you. Amen. Can we all have our seats? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Actually, we were in the neighborhood and we thought it uh, uh, appropriate uh, to pay you a visit and uh, also to pray with you and uh, the family. And uh, also, having it 
that today the DMAN <laughs> prayer meeting will be going on, that it will be a great opportunity uh, mm. to fellowship with you uh, while the program is on. And unfortunately, we overheard your conversation. We were scared. And we had to open the door just before our brother did something that was very terrible. Uh, we, we just had to uh, pop in before brother Stephen did some damage here only to meet him. Dramatizing. God bless you, woman of God. Amen. The Lord lift you up Amen. and will satisfy you. Grant your heart's desire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor Stephen, or what do I call you? Can you imagine? Is it? I don't even know what name to call you. Is it ordained pastor, uh, uh, wife Peter, or prayer warrior? It is uncalled for. How can you just be? You just raise up your hand and you want to destroy the, your wife just like that, and you now start pretending when you saw us. You now started pretending as if you are pray, you are uh, anointing, uh, releasing anointing, and praying and. Casting and binding and uh, coming on one spirit. So, does that mean your Sunday services and your Wednesday home, home church are just a show of your presence? Indirectly, you are saying you are with us, but actually, you are not a part of us. I need to educate you. Darling, please, can you help me with my Bible? Thank you very much. And if I may ask, what do you understand by fasting and prayer? Or why do we actually fast and pray? The scripture makes us to understand from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7, it says, Likewise, Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with your wives according to knowledge. According to knowledge. For they are of the weaker sex. We need to see that both of you are heirs, joint heirs of the kingdom. This you have not you have not shown. And it ought to be so that your prayers will not be hindered and the Lord will help you in Jesus name thank, thank, thank you sir thank you very much uh, I don't really understand it the, like the way you have explained it to us this, uh, can you help me plead with my wife my lovely wife that I'm highly sorry and I'll make sure that such did not happen again and I'll, I'll, I'll turn over a new leaf Thank you, sir. Sister Becky, you have had your husband. Yes, sir. Please forgive him and let this matter end here. Thank you, sir. It is well with you. Amen. Thank it's you. Well you. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, well, uh, that has ended it. I think we should, uh, what we actually came here for, after praying, we should just watch the uh, demon. Yes, so can we connect to the Zoom meeting for the demon uh, prayer session for tonight? Okay, sir. So, 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 can you help me with that? Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Um, the, oh, they started already. How they are beginning to have a lot of astonishing experience and they are getting converted. There was even the news of, of, of nations like Iran when the, 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 the bearer of the touch of evangelism there are women. The bearer of the touch are women. The people carrying the fire in some part of Iran, they are women preaching the gospel and they had no church. There was no church. There is no church. There is no building as a church. And so the, the, the evangelism is mouth to mouth. It is an underground church. There is no place where they gather. I read the news myself. I read the evangelical report myself. 
and the message was spreading widely and they were preaching in the marketplace, there is no church, so they cannot be arrested. It's mad. And there are women. 80% of those who are evangelists there are women. And they were preaching the gospel and the message is spreading so fast. Unexpected people, unexpected nation are turning to Christ. There was another picture, another video of another country in, in the Asia, in the, in the Asia, 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 one of the Asian countries, where massive crowd of people, Muslim nation, massive crowd of people turn to Christ overnight. <laughs> unexpected people turning to Christ and mass. People you never thought would come to Christ are coming to Christ. You that have known the Lord several years ago, your, how can your faith weaken you? How can you be weak? How can you abandon your vision? How can you abandon your calling? How should career take your vision away from you? Why should, why should your profession take your ministry away from your hand? Why should your career, why should your, why should your work take your calling away from your hand? Many of us, yeah, we, are, we are forgotten our calling. We have forgotten the covenant we made with God. We have, we have forgotten the promises we made with God. We have forgotten the covenant we made with him. We have forgotten the covenant God made with us. Many of us, the promise we made, when God brought us from wherever we were and placed us in the present position, we have forgotten. The devil is using different type of things to make a people forget God's calling, to make people forget God's vision, to make people forget God's covenant. To make people forget the call, the commission, the mandate. It's making a lot of people to forget the covenant they have made with God. It's making a lot of people to forget the vision they receive from God, the calling they receive from God. I am calling you tonight using this platform of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the anointing night of drama ministers. I'm using this moment to call you to say, come back. Pick your calling again. Pick your calling again. The Lord Jesus Christ said the statement that must not happen to you. He said at that time that, uh, that the first shall become last and the last shall become first. No, your, your, your first must not become last. Pick your calling again. There is an outpouring of the Holy Spirit presently. Don't say, oh, the temptation now is too hard. There's an outpouring for it now. Hmm. Don't say, the pressure now is too high. No, there's an outpouring. There's an outpouring that Peter did not see. We are experiencing what Peter did not experience. We are, we are experiencing massive outpouring of grace. We are experiencing massive outpouring, massive outpouring of the power of the Holy Spirit. What Stephen did not see, what Peter did not see, what our fathers of faith did not see in years past, we are beginning to see because we are the last leg of the race of revival. Pick up your calling. Pick up your vision. Let nothing is too big enough to, call, to take your calling away from you because that is your means of it. That is your existence. See, your profession, your career, your work, the duties that you are doing, they are all complementary. They, they are to empower the real calling of God for your life. They are to, they are to empower the calling. They are to complement the calling. See, your profession, your career, they are all platform for your calling to thrive. They are all platform for your ministry to thrive. They are all platform for your commission to thrive. Why did God create you? Why were you created? Why are you existing in a time like this? Were you created just to give birth to children, take children to school, bring children back from school, work in the place, collect salary? Is that just the essence of your living? I therefore pray for you tonight that the Lord God will empower you. Amen. Wow. That was a powerful message. Mm, absolutely. It was as if the guest minister uh, was here and he witnessed all what that happened in, in the house here. Mm. It is well. Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we pray? Uh, uh, sir, be, be, before we pray, can can we prepare something so that we can all break our fast together? Uh, that's true. Uh, well, uh, for me, a couple of tea will be okay. Ah, just tea? Yes, okay. Pastor, Mrs. Yeah, same with that. Cup of tea, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you.
Good evening, this is TBBC. The rate of coronavirus infection has recently increased within the community. However, the government have measures in place to tackle the pandemic. It was a terrible scene as witnessed earlier this evening. A group of corporate guys were celebrating a business contract won earlier today. They were together at a cafe when a truck struck the cafe, killing three of the men and one is in a critical condition. An eyewitness said the driver was drunk and well over the required limit. The name of the victims are Smith Akpan, David Loma and Peter Waters. It was a terrible scene. The House of Parliament... Those are my colleagues. In fact, I'm supposed to be with them celebrating the contract we want today, if not that Pastor and Pastor Mrs. K. That was why I was almost beating my wife. Oh my word, so they are dead. Oh goodness me, so it's true. Everything works together for good for those that love God. Father Lord, I thank you. I will you. I give you a glory. I give you all. Ah! Ah! Pastor, this is. Hey, we thank God for that. Thank you. Sister Becky. Pastor, this is well. I really thank God for your life. See how God used you to save your family. You see why it is important that we remain spiritually sensitive all the time. Yes, so I will really encourage you. Don't ever relent. Don't ever relent. And I know that God will continue to strengthen you. Amen. And He will reward you in this. Amen. God bless you, Sister Baby. Amen. I, I'm really happy for you. Amen. Thank God for everything. Ah, it is you. well. You see thank how you. all things work together for good to them that love God. Hey. This is well. I thank God, and I well. thank God, God for your life too. God. That was the right time. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Yes. My dear brother, mm. you can now see why it is very important mm. for us children of God that we should not abandon our duty post mm. both now and until Christ comes. The Lord help us mm -hmm. even to keep faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Can we just bow down and pray? Yeah. Heavenly Father, Amen. we thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what we have learned. Thank you. Thank you for your grace. Oh, thank, you. thank you for your enablement. Thank you, Father. You hold us. Mm -hmm. You walk in us mm -hmm. to will and to do of your good pleasure. Mm -hmm. And at the end of it, we will not lose our salvation. We will remain at our duty post. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.